गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल फाइन ओके वेरी गुड स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इज द सेशन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स ओके इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैड स्टार्टेड ए न्यू टॉपिक एंड दैट इज द मीनिंग एंड फंक्शन ऑफ द सेंट्रल बैंक ओके वाई डिस्कसिंग दैट टॉपिक we came to know that the central bank is the apex monetary authority of a country and its responsibility is to control direct and regulate the monetary system as well as banking system of the economy okay and we have discussed two or three most important functions performed by the central bank such as we discussed the first very function and that is the issue of currency notes the second very function we have discussed that is the government's bank third uh, important function also we have discussed and that is bankers bank now <coughs> come to the next function of the central bank and that is lender as a last resort okay it means the central bank of a country rbi in india you can say or the central bank of any country like rbi performs the function of a lender as a last resort okay how you know students what happens when there is a lack of confidence of the people in the banking system then there happens to be maximum withdrawals from the commercial banks okay usually it does not happen in normal conditions but sometimes if some abnormalities arise then the people start their uh, start withdrawing their deposits from the commercial banks very fastly okay and sometimes some of the commercial banks come in crisis or they have to suffer with the sort of cash due to which their operations of the business become difficult okay so in these situations when the commercial banks are in crisis of cash or they are not in position to operate their regular business properly then the central bank offers them loans okay or financial support on comfortable terms and conditions okay so that the commercial banks can meet their liabilities very easily withdrawals liabilities very easily and they can run their business smoothly okay so since the central bank helps the commercial banks in crisis okay therefore central bank is called a lender as a last resort okay why it is a lender as a last resort because if there is no option there is no way before the commercial bank to come out of the crisis then it takes help financial help from the central bank the commercial banks borrow from the central bank on easy terms and conditions and that is why the central bank is called lender as a last resort okay now the next important function of the central bank is that it is a custodian of national valuables and foreign exchange reserve okay you know students what are the valuables of the government in its reserve these valuables are under the control under the custody of the central bank okay the central bank provides them security and maintains their accounts okay not only this 
but the reserve of foreign exchange is also maintained by the central bank that means the stock of the foreign reserves foreign exchange currencies uh, is under custodian under custody of the central bank okay through central bank the foreign currencies are either sold or purchased you know children sometimes it happens that the rate of exchange is too much high or sometimes too much low okay so it requires to maintain a stability in the rate of foreign exchange reserve okay so if such a situation arises in the economy then the central bank normally introduces managed floating managed floating means means either reducing or increasing the supply of foreign exchange okay how suppose the rate of exchange is too much high the value of domestic currency is on decline very sharply then in this condition the central bank itself starts selling the foreign currencies from its reserve so that the supply of foreign currency may increase reducing the rate of exchange similarly if the rate of exchange is very low okay then in this condition the central bank starts buying the foreign exchange reserves so that the the reasonable rate of exchange could be maintained in the economy so you can say through managed floating the central bank ensures a stability of the rate of exchange in the economy and it acts as a custodian of national variables as well as the reserve of foreign exchange okay this is also one of the most important functions of the central bank okay now the next important function of the central bank is to act as a clearance house okay the central bank since it is a banker's bank it is head of the banking system it is a apex banking authority therefore the central bank acts as a clearing house clearance house okay how does it perform this function you know the checks are issued by depositors of commercial bank several times in day to day transactions and sometimes and sometimes a check issued in the name of one commercial bank is deposited in the account of another commercial bank and this is a normal practice which usually happen in all types of the economy okay especially in large transactions which take place not in cash but in check form okay so because of such transactions which take place through the checks the commercial banks have claims on each other okay so whatever claims the commercial banks have against each other all these claims are are cleared through the central bank because the commercial banks have their accounts with the central bank okay so when the two or more commercial banks will have claims on each other because of the checks issued against each other then all these claims of the commercial banks against each other will be settled down will be cleared by the central bank and that is why it is called a clearing house okay understood the next important function of the central bank is to control credit you know students the money supply of an economy includes not only currency notes and coins but also the demand deposits 
already we have the knowledge of demand deposits that these are the deposits which can be withdrawn any time by the depositors by issue of the check okay in coming topic we will see that on the basis of this demand deposit the commercial banks create credit or increase uh, increases its liability by creating credit okay as many as many times the credit is created by the commercial banks there is an expansion of money supply in the economy okay if this credit creation process continues for a longer period of time without any control the supply in the economy increases okay and if it increases beyond a limit then there happens to be inflation in the economy the things are started to become costlier okay so it is very important to control the situation of inflation from the economy and the central bank intervenes by uh, using or by taking so many measures such as the instruments which are used by the central bank to reduce uh, the money supply in the economy or to control credit r lrr that is called legal reserve ratio slr that is called statutory liquidity ratio crr that is called cash reserve ratio margin requirements open market operations all these we shall discuss in detail in the coming topic okay here i mean to say that by using these instruments by using these monetary measures by adopting these monetary measures the central bank can reduce inflation inflationary pressure from the economy similarly if the money supply is very low credit creation is very low then by bringing changes in this crr slr rlr r etc the commercial banks can increase the money supply okay and maintain the appropriate value of money in the economy okay so thus you can say by using the instruments like crr slr lrr open market operations etc the central bank in fact controls credit creation activity of the commercial banks to keep the economy free from the pressure of inflation or deflation okay so these were the main functions the important functions of the central bank which we have discussed till now okay and other than these functions the central bank performs so many other important functions also such as it collects data on different social economic issues it provides suggestions to the government it also gives important informations to the people about economic and financial conditions of the country the central bank also helps the government in formulation of different development plans and schemes okay the central bank also provides informations related to global economy etc etc okay so we can say that the central bank as a apex monetary and banking authority of the country helps greatly in maintaining the economic system and in running the banking system properly okay so now we have discussed we have finished this topic the meaning and functions of the central bank better you go through this topic once again from your textbook in a better way and if you want to converse with me then must contact with me okay thank you